we at Vision IS, as you know, have a student wellness cell whereby we are providing professional psychologist service to the students who seek it, have a timetable and have some sort of physical activity included in your day. Yes, and they guide you through your various stresses. So in case uh, of even of emotional stress or personal issues, uh, they will provide you a kind ear. <laughs>
Yes, so you might have cleared your prelims just before mains, just before your interview, whatever it might be, prior, uh, during the course of preparation, you have just become too anxious. So it is essential that you seek professional service and uh, we at Vision IS, as you know, have a student wellness cell whereby we are providing professional psychologist service to the students who seek it. Yes, so the students can come and seek the professional service whereby they can discuss whatever issue they have with the psychologist and the professional psychologist will guide them through the due course of action which will help in checking the stress. Now, can you throw more light about this student wellness cell and to whom it is open to and how the process goes through? Yes, uh, student wellness cell is an important initiative undertaken by Vision IS. Uh, we have started this initiative few months back uh, whereby initially it was open to only the Vision IS students and now it is open to all the students who may seek help. They have to send a mail saying that we are interested in seeking the help and according first come first serve basis there is a long queue generally that is what I mean to say uh, that you are assigned uh, the schedule where you can come and uh, seek the guidance from the professional psychologist. Yes, and they guide you through your various stresses. So in case uh, of even of emotional stress or personal issues, uh, they will provide you a kind ear and uh, custom or tailor made uh, make the solutions that they provide you. This is exam, purely exam related stress, say time management becomes an issue. They teach you time management tools, they tell you how to have routines which will suit you, uh, how to go for trial and error basis of seeing if the routine suits me or not. Yes, they tell you how not to delve too much into negative thought, they try and restructure the negative thoughts into positive way of thinking. And through such means they help students and several hundred students by now have uh, been benefited from the initiative. Ma'am, coming back to what students can do to manage their stress, one area is hobbies. So pursuing hobbies and extracurricular activities. So what is the role of these hobbies and extracurricular activities for UPC preparation and to manage stress and anxiety? See, of course, uh, hobbies are a form of stress relief. So of course, they are m of much use. But generally what happens with UPSC students that they are hard pressed for time. When you actually have no time, when you have paucity of time to complete the syllabus, where do you get time to think of hobbies? But yes, uh, depending on your own personality, you have to take a call and if pursuit of a hobby, uh, you don't need to pursue it intense, uh, there need not be a rigorous pursuit of hobbies. But yes, once in a week you get some leisure time and you schedule it. Make it a part of your routine where you have uh, uh, you have uh, by choice allocated a certain amount of hour, say half an hour to one hour to two hours in a week to pursuit of that hobby. If that can help with stress relief, well, and, uh, very good. You should pursue it in that case. Now, one thing that can be easily done is yoga and meditation. Yes. So, how important it is to pursue yoga and meditation for managing stress and anxiety? Uh, if you are a person who enjoys yoga, then of course it is very good. Yoga is about being mindfully present. Meditation is about practicing mindfulness. Yes, there are various types of meditation. Yoga Nidra is also one type of meditation. So anyways, uh, depending on what suits you, these are very good practices to manage stress, to improve your concentration, to ensure that you are able to Put in the productive long hours of studies which are needed. Yes, so if one can pursue the same, uh, very much recommended from my end. So ma'am, as we come to the end of our discussion, any final word of wisdom you would like to share with our student that can help them manage their stress and anxiety? At the end of the conversation, I would just like to say that stress is very much part of this examination. As said earlier, maybe UPSC wants your wants to test your ability to take on stress and yet deliver. So we have to learn to deal with the stress and the common ways to deal with the stress is yoga, meditation, some for sort of physical activity, good night sleep, nutritious food and having 
an ambitious timetable or at least having a timetable. If you are doing all such things, even in small quantities and not extensively practicing yoga or whatever it is, maybe even going out for a 20 minute walk after a long session of study, all such things would be useful. Yes, so my suggestion would be, my most important suggestion for the students would be to have a timetable. Have a timetable and have some sort of physical activity included in your day. Yes, maybe just 10 minutes or 20 minutes of stretches that you do. Uh, that will also be very, very beneficial. And please have a timetable and stick to that timetable. That will help you to overcome all the stresses. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am, for guiding our aspirants. So students, I hope now you have a good idea how to manage stress and anxiety while preparing for UPSC exam. And if you want some professional help regarding it, do contact us. In the end, I will just say seeking help is not a sign of weakness, it is a sign of strength. Thank you so much.